say that he the creator is absolutely one one whom all depends while he depends upon none he begets not nor is he begotten and there is none in the creation that has any similitude to him this denies uh, several things one if he's absolutely one it doesn't mean the number one that he is one above the creation and one single God not divided no family no board of trustees no advisors no lawyer no bookkeeper no company no many gods sitting next to him no mother no father no daughter no son no relative gods no many gods only God God alone that's what God has always said and that's what Jesus said the greatest commandment is the first of the commandments hear ye O Israel the Lord thy God is one and thou shalt have no other gods along with him and thou shalt not worship anything in the heavens or the earth or any graven images in the heavens and the earth or in the sea below now this is what the Quran sets forward as the statement of God who Allah he is Allah الذي لا إله إلا هو besides whom none has the right to be worshipped الملك the king القدوس the pure السلام the one who is free from all defects المؤمن the giver of security العزيز the most mighty الجبار the compeller المتكبر the supreme Subhanallah amma yushrikun High is Allah above everything that they associate with him Who Allah, he is Allah Al-Khaliq, the creator Al-Bari, the inventor Al-Musawwir, the giver of forms Lahu al-Asma'u al-Husn To him belongs the most perfect of all names يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم. Everything in the heavens and the earth glorify Allah and He is the most mighty, the most wise.